Always dry fit duct sections before sealing. Once dry fitted, you can work your way from bottom to top, removing, sealing, and reinstalling one piece at a time. For example, if you were sealing this piece, you would remove it and the piece right after it to make room. To do so, you must remove the V-clamps one at a time as shown. Because this duct must be water, grease, and fire tight, only the 3M Fire Barrier 2000 Plus silicone sealant may be used. Sections must be clean, dry, and frost-free before sealing. When installed properly, the sealant will control the spread of fire before, during, and after exposure to open flames. Apply a continuous bead of sealant onto the inside of the V-clamp all the way around the band. The sealant should completely fill the V-section. Place the V-clamp just past the duct flange, leaving enough room for the next duct section. Apply a continuous quarter-inch bead of sealant around the flange to be joined. The sealant should be about the width of a pencil. Join the two flanged ends of the duct sections together. Be sure that the duct sections do not shift during assembly. If the sections shift, the flanged ends will not seal properly. While fitting both duct flanges inside the V-section, install the clamp around the duct flanges and partially tighten the screws. For horizontal duct runs, the V-clamp hardware should be located on the top side of the duct between 10 and 2 o'clock. Use a rubber mallet to gently tap the clamp, ensuring it seals all the way around, before properly tightening the hardware. Alternate between the two bolts as you tighten. The final torque should be between 40 and 60 inch-pounds. Lastly, smooth and remove any excess sealant from the inside of the duct surface. Continue sealing your dry-fitted duct sections one at a time, working your way up the duct run the same way this piece was installed. 